I have been meaning to make this video for a long time. I've been meeting with you guys all over the Zoom in the past year and the most common question I get is Ahmed, how do I become a UX designer? And I see a lot of videos on this topic but not a single one of them are evidence based. Meaning they teach you which resources, courses, books you should go and get to actually learn UX design skills but they don't teach you how to actually use those resources in the most effective way possible. Possible. That is why this video will give you the evidence-based practices to get the skills you need in which order you should get them will give you the best resources to learn those skills from and give you the best expectations when it comes to applying for jobs so that you can become a UX designer in 2023 as fast as possible. Now to understand why I am suggesting you to practice these skills in certain order and in certain way is because of this author called Anders Ericsson who coined the term deliberate practice. It is what Olympic athletes use to actually get to the top of their game and it will help you a lot. To use deliberate practice we need to understand understand three different concepts. Fundamental first comes from actually like building your house, you need a solid foundation. Instead of beginning with doing full side projects when it comes to building your portfolio, we will focus on the fundamental UI design skills you need first to create a solid foundation. Second, practicing one skill at a time matters. Instead of practicing a bunch of skills where we lose focus, we will do only single skill at a time when we are putting in the verb so that we can get better much more faster. Last concept is getting good feedback is crucial. Now many of you won't actually know what your weaknesses are as UX designers because you are beginners. So even if you put in the hard work, if you don't know your weaknesses, you can't fix them so you will reach a ceiling. To mitigate this, you can get a mentor or I'm assuming many of you won't have the budget. So what you do is what we call copy design. And I'm going to delve much further in this concept in learning UI design section. Learning UI design is the first skill you should learn. Not only is the foundational skills when it comes to UX design, but also unless you have an HCI master's degree or you have a very big unfair advantage, it is very hard to get your first job as a UX designer unless you have great UI design skills. So here is how I would go on about learning UI design skill. To put deliberate practice in action, I don't want you to consume any kind of books, courses or resources for the first two to three months when it comes to learning UI design. Instead, I want you to go to screenlane.com where there are production level designs done by actual UX designers. I want you to copy 30 or 40 of those screens and put them into the design tool you use like Figma. And I want you to copy each screen pixel by pixel. This will improve your UI design skills a lot because it will get you the unconscious skills a normal professional designer has and it will help you accumulate them faster and it serves as a benchmark at each screen you copy because you will see yourself improve over time once you understand what kind of techniques they use. Next, I want you to read this book called Non-Designers Designs Guide. This is a great book that will teach you the vocabulary so now that you can actually understand why you have made certain decisions when it comes to UI design so you can articulate them and once you are done with this book and you have a good vocabulary what I want you to do is consider getting Eric Kennedy's Learn UI Design course. This is the course that gave me the most return because it had mentorship as well and this will put you into a very good to great UI design skills for your first UX design job. Now once you are at a good level when it comes to UI design, it is time to learn UX design skills. You need to learn from ideation to high fidelity, how to conduct the design process, how to interview certain users and also other qualitative research methods. Next, the best way to actually develop your UX design skills is to build side projects. Now I know many beginners don't have the fundamentals and they need much more guidance. So go to Design Labs this blog post. It's a 12 day challenge 
challenge where they will guide you day by day and you will learn the necessary UX design skills you need to actually start a project and finish it. Now, during this time, it will also be important to look at other professionals UX designers portfolios, especially their side projects and check what they did differently compared to your first project. This will give you the necessary feedback loop that we talked about when it comes to deliberate practice that will show you your weaknesses so in the next project you can get better. Finally, once you have built two to three projects to actually develop your skills further and find out what kind of tools you need, I want you to read this book, The UX Team of One by Leah Buckley. It's a very good book that will show you the process of UX design again, but also give you some soft skills of how to improve your communication skills so you can get better feedback when you actually get your first UX design job and get real clients. Chances are you spend two to four months when it comes to mastering your UX design skills and now you need to build a portfolio. In 2022, it is much harder to get a first time UX design job unless your portfolio has at least one project that actually had a client and it was professional work. It can be pro bono or it can be paid by but it has to be a professional work. Now, getting professional work when you don't have experience is challenging and every designer, including myself, has been there and I know two strategies that actually work. First, you can use freelancing sites like Fiverr or Upwork where you can actually apply for five to 10 jobs a day and over time, if you charge little, you will get a project where you can add to your portfolio if you finish it. Second, and this is how I did it, I want you to to call each family, friend and colleague you have in your network and I want you to say the following lines Hey X, how is life? Recently I am transitioning into a new career that is UX design I wanted to know if you could refer me to people in your network that could use my skills next week I am doing two things here First, I am suggesting a number like two that is small enough that it's not a big ask but big enough for you that will generate you good enough leads if you call every family, colleague and friend. Next, I am giving a due date for the ask I am saying this week. This kind of adds an urgency to the person you called and it increases the chance of them actually giving you the leads you need. Now, chances are after this process you will have 5 to 10 leads and you will kind of get a job that will give you your first work if it's pro bono or it pays little and you can add it to your portfolio as well. Now that your portfolio is in a good enough shape, it is time to move on to applying for jobs, which is very boring and I know. Now, there are three things that actually helped me in my job search that got me my first full-time UX design job under four months and I'm going to share them with you. First, I made sure my resume was to the point and it's a very big topic. So if you want to learn how to make sure your resume is as bulletproof as possible, watch this video next. I want you to understand it is very important to set the right expectations. Now, it is important that you know you are not eligible for most UX design job because industry is saturated and is against UX designers who are have less than three years of experience. So what you need to do is first apply nationwide and consider actually going remotely or also relocating. And second, you need to apply for at least 250 jobs. Now, on average, the studies found out that it takes 80 job applications to get one offer. And if you want to negotiate, you need to have at least two offers so you have more leverage. So I want you to apply for at least 250 jobs, fix your resume, and make sure that you are applying nationwide so you are applying for a job that are one to two year required experience and not three to five. Hey guys, I hope with this video you got to understand the blueprint of how to become a UX designer in 2023. And if you want to learn the state of the industry, watch this video next.